Hey everybody, this is Clanic Gamer here and I am back with another Let's Replay and this time it's of uh, Sonic CD. Yes, this is the game I'm going to be doing, uh, this is the game I said I was going to be doing after Sonic Mega Collection Plus and it's the uh, 2011 version of Sonic CD um, for the PS3. And I remember playing this quite a long time ago on my channel before, back in 2012 actually. So I figured why not 10 years later let's come back and redo this one. So. Uh, without further ado, let me just double check my settings first, just to make sure everything's um, all in place. Uh, yeah, that's fine. That seems to all be fine there. Alright, so let's go ahead and start a new game then, shall we? And I'll explain, uh, and uh, there'll be an opening cutscene, I'll explain more about the story after the opening cutscene is over. So we're gonna play this now. I've already got Tails on lock because I've played this game many times. But I'm going to play a Sonic for the sake of the story, so let's go ahead and do this. I have to say the uh, the animation style from this this cutscene is very impressive. Reminds me of the Sonic cartoons from back then. So for those who don't know what's going on here with the story, basically Sonic is um, on this planet called Little Planet right now, and uh, Robotnik Eggman is there because he heard about the legends of uh, of the Time Stones, which is essentially what we're collecting here in this game, as well as getting uh, good futures for each of these zones here. So like we're starting with uh, Palm Tree Panic right now. And uh, what we're planning on doing is getting good futures. Now, how we're going to do this is time travel is associated with this game, is involved with this game. So as you can see here, we've got two different signs. We've got a past and future sign. We don't want to go for the future yet because that will take us to a bad future. So we want to go for a past sign, get enough speed built up, and then we will be going straight into the past. You've got to maintain speed all the way, otherwise you will not be able to time travel to the, to the past or the future. So here we are in the past, looks uh, very uh, prehistoric, doesn't it? And the main objective of the game, if you're going for 100% in this, is to find the robot, these robot generators that uh, Robotnik has placed in each zone in the past. And if you destroy all of them, you'll get a good future for each um, act. And you also find... Uh, oh crap, okay, well that wasn't good, right. You also find other extras in the past, such as... A Metal Sonic. Yes, Metal Sonic makes his debut in this game. Which is uh, pretty awesome. And we're not going in the future yet because we haven't found the machine yet. So we go across here, but here it is right here. Right there. We destroyed it, and that means we've created a good future and all the robots are gone. There is another machine that I don't know if I'll be able to find in this act, because I don't know if I know the past version of this zone very well. But I'll see if I can find it anyway. Plus, if you get 50 rings at the end of the act as well, you'll be able to go to a special stage and uh, collect the, the time stones as well. That shield would also be very nice, because I don't want to lose my rings. I'll see if I can find... Uh, okay, I'm not wanting to go to the future, because I want to find this extra uh, machine here. Okay, we'll let that run out. There we go. So that way I'm not going to the future. That's what happens when you don't get enough speed. 
for a certain uh, time zone. Actually, if I drop down here, if I can, yes, there we go. There we go. So we've got invincibility. I'm not quite able to find this machine that, that frees the animals, because there is another one that frees the animals, even though it doesn't really do anything. I suppose it doesn't really matter, to be honest with you. We'll just go ahead and towards the ending. And there's the uh, big ring at the end, uh, normally at the end of uh, the first Sonic game. So now we're going to be taken to a special stage to find not the Chaos Emeralds, but the Time Stones. And the Time Stones are also helpful as well for uh, future levels. And you'll see why. I'm not going to spoil it right now if you get all, um, what happens when you get all the Time Stones. But basically, the main objective to get a Time Stone is to destroy all these uh, UFOs. Now, in my personal opinion... Oh, crap, okay. In my opinion, these are my favourite special stages out of all the classic games. Even though they can be quite tricky to beat. As you can see right here, I'm not demonstrating that at these stages very well. They're quite tricky to beat when it comes to getting the Time Stones. But the reason why I like them is because it incorporates Sonic speed an awful lot. As well as the rings you collect. Oh, god damn it. Okay, right, you need to stay in the water as well because if you go in the water, time will end up there going down very fast. You don't want to go in water. So let's find that last UFO there it is. Mind you, an awful lot of the uh, Sonic Mania special stages. I, I'm honestly thinking the developers of Sonic Mania were maybe inspired to do a special stage that was uh, based off of this game. And I can see why. To be honest with you, okay, let's get that one again so we can get some extra time. I'm trying to destroy this last UFO, but for some reason it's been so goddamn persistent. Ah! Okay, I left right behind it. I don't know why I'm struggling at this one. Alright, there we go. I don't know why I struggled so much at the first one there. If I'm struggling so much at the first special stage, um, I don't know what it's going to be like uh, for the remaining special stages in this game. <laughs> So anyway, we've got one time stone, and I believe there's seven of them to collect in this one, just like in Sonic 2 and the, all the other uh, games follow afterwards. There are seven time stones to collect. And I'm hoping to get all of them in one go, because uh, that'll help me get the... Actually, no, I'm not going not gonna to spoil uh, what, what, what I... Um, ah, sorry. I'm not going to spoil what happens when you get all the time stones. I'm going to see if I can maybe get into the past doing this. Nice! Okay, normally I never succeed at that, actually. <laughs> I tried my chances of getting the pass there with that, and uh, it worked. Wait a minute, what's that device there? I'm actually curious about... Oh, god damn it! really? Well, you know what they say, curiosity kills the, the hedgehog. But I killed my rings there. Huh. It's a... It's a little uh, device that gets you, like, it's like the springs. Or the mushrooms, a mushroom holds them, for example. So I lost all my rings there, so I'm going to have to try and 50 rings again. But that gives me plenty of time, though, to find the, the robot generator. The best thing about travelling to these different time zones is the rings are in uh, different places. Normally, if you're in the present, uh, you wouldn't be able to access those rings. But because I'm in the past, I'm able to access them. Plus, what I also like about this game as well is the fact that each zone has different variations of its theme. So like the past is like a calm soothing uh, theme. It's like a, it's like the area saying it used to be quite calm and peaceful before Robotnik took over. And then the present's like the present is very energetic and uh, positive. The bad future theme is I'm not gonna spoil it now but like the oh okay I managed to get a lot, a lot of springs there. Bad Future theme is pretty grim and dark, generally speaking, for each zone. And then the Good Future is one of resolve. Like, well, what I mean by that is, like, you know, you foiled uh, Robotnik's reign on the zone, so therefore have a very positive uh, music theme as a reward. And you'll hear what I mean when we get to the Good Future at the end. Just trying to find where the... Ah, okay, the invincibility will be quite handy, thank you. I mean, I could destroy all these robots uh, manually without having to get the robot generator, but I don't think that's going to help.
Actually, it would help me if I actually got... Oh, I just realised I picked up a future sign there, didn't I? Hmm. Can I let that run out? Yes, good. I'm glad that Sonic stopped there, because I didn't want to go to the future. Yes, okay, that's what I wanted to do. Use that red spring there to get a lot of momentum there for that. And I think the machine on this one is somewhere across here. I can't remember where. And there's an extra life on top of there. Oh, wait, I think I remember where it is. It's, uh, it's up here. There we go. So that's another good future created. And we'll see if I can find this other machine that I was talking about here, because I think it's along here somewhere. So we'll get the shield. And uh, more invincibility. Now here it is right here. So here's Metal Sonic here, uh, stomping one of the animals. But if we destroy this uh, hologram projector, all the animals are free and they come back. And that's the rest of the robots um, all being destroyed there. And I find this was interesting in this game as well. Normally Robotnik uses animals in these robots, but for some reason he uses uh, flowers. I don't quite understand why he uses flowers. Never really explained there. But anyway, another good future's been created. And we're going to, we're going to go to another special stage and get the second uh, time stone. Hopefully without too many problems. There we go, so that first UFO was pretty easy to... Oh, okay, missed that one. Missed that one as well. Now, those red springs there are used for, for height advantage. I quite like using the fan, because you're able to actually... Oh, okay. Actually, there is a way you can slow Sonic down from what I've learned. If you hold the down button, you're actually able to slow down his momentum, which is quite handy. If you're afraid of going in the water, you can actually slow down this uh, momentum to stop you from going into the water. Ah, okay, um, one more UFO to destroy. And it's over there. There we go. That one's pretty easy. Heck, actually, I found that special stage easier than the first one, honestly. So I think we should get an extra life here, because I think 50,000 points and I might get... Oh, Sonic answered my question. Uh, yes, it does give you an extra life. <laughs> and I remember in the original Sega CD version of this, it said them um, extra players instead of extra lives. And here's the good future of the zone. Looks uh, very well done, in my opinion. Everything all nice and cheery, the music is, um, is all very energetic. It's not much different, in my opinion, uh, compared to the present music. It's like a time to celebrate. All the animals um, frolicking about celebrating with uh, Sonic uh, freeing them and giving the good future. Oh, nice. Okay, I managed to get an extra life there for that. Now it's time for the boss. Now this boss is pathetically easy. Right there. <laughs> That's the boss. <laughs> Honestly, I have to say that boss is even easier than Papu Papu and that's saying something. And that was the third act of a Palm Tree Panic. Now, if I'd been a bit quicker, I could have gotten 50,000 for a time bonus, but it doesn't really matter. So that's Palm Tree Panic finished. I think we've got enough time to show off the second zone. The second zone is a Collision Chaos. And uh, we've got a shield here. Oh, and here's a familiar character, Amy Rose. This is where she makes her debut in the Sonic games. And normally she would give you a hug, but for some reason she doesn't here, and I don't quite understand why she doesn't. But if we go up here, Metal Sonic appears and uh, kidnaps Amy. So I have to go and uh, rescue her. Fun fact, actually. Originally, Amy wasn't supposed to be in this game. It was supposed to be Sally Acorn that was supposed to be in this game, but uh, Sega decided against using her, which I don't know why, to be honest with you. I really don't know why. Sega decided against that. Well, not that I'm complaining or anything, because Amy's a brilliant character. Then again, so is Sally Acorn, in my opinion. It would have been a win-win situation either way, if uh, Sally had been, had been used or Amy. 
But I think that Amy was probably the better choice here, actually, to be used, rather than uh, Sally. Because a lot of their uh, fans uh, do think that uh, Sonic and Amy are much better together than Sonic and Sally. But anyway, got Collision Chaos, and there's the machine there in the present. Now, you notice we can't do anything to it, but it's because... We're oh, god damn it! okay. One enemy decided to backstab me from behind, literally with, uh, the swords. And you notice we can't do anything to it because we're in the wrong timeline. So we have to go to the past to destroy it. We can't destroy it in the present. And if we're in the future, I believe it's gone. The bad future, should I say, I think it's gone. Oh, it didn't quite manage it. Okay, fair enough. Ah! Okay. I honestly thought if I had uh, gotten the pass there, I could have actually... Actually, oh, here's an opportunity. Right, we go with the pass using this. Yeah, you'll notice in this game as well, there's actually a lot of uh, spring contraptions that allow Sonic to travel to the past or to the future to make time travel a lot easier. My main advice if you're playing this game for the first time is just use the the level environments to your advantage when it comes to uh, getting the, the good future for this. So that's another good future created. And here's the past version of Collision Chaos. Looks uh, pretty good, honestly. The past version. Now, I just need to get 50 rings again, because I lost all of them due to the, due to the one enemy. Now, normally, this machine would be shooting out uh, bullets here, but it's not because we're in the, in the past. Because technically that had not been invented yet. Whoa, okay. <laughs> okay, yeah, those can be used as well for going into the future. And the original version of this normally didn't have the spin dash, but the remaster of this one actually has the spin dash in its proper formation, which I quite like. need the uh, 50 rings here. Oh my god, okay. I actually thought I was going to die there. Because <laughs> I know that Sonic can die if it gets crushed. Actually, I don't think I want to go there yet because I think the ending is over there and I want to get 50 rings. So I'm going to explore a little bit longer. Actually, uh, I want to go in there, but I'm timing that wrong. With these. Ah, okay, there we go. That's it, there we go. Now we go over 50 rings. And uh, yeah, we'll celebrate by crashing into all these. That being said, I do like the versions of these these star bumpers in comparison to the other ones in the class games. Because it actually like plays a little tune. You can actually play a little tune to it. It's quite harmonic. I inadvertently got an extra life there. I actually didn't know there was an extra life up there. Alright, so now we've uh, created a good future in the first act of uh, Collision Chaos. And we've got another life as well. We're on a roll here when it comes to the extra lives. Now, you may notice I'm not using the American soundtrack for this. It's because, as a whole, I do like the Japanese soundtrack more than the American soundtrack. I'm not saying that the, that the American soundtrack is bad. I think the American soundtrack has some good themes. Like, for example, my favourite theme, personally, in the American soundtrack is uh, the Tidal Tempest, which is, uh, funny enough, the next one coming up in this game. The, the present version of uh, Tidal Tempest, because it feels like it fits with uh, the Fresh Prince of Bel Air's theme. For those who've seen the show, then you know what I'm talking about. And if you played this game before, then you know what I'm talking about when I say that. Now this stage isn't going very well here so far. Oh, there we go. Just one more UFO to get, or destroy, should I say. Mm, I'm tempted to go and get extra time here. Yeah, I'm going to get extra time. Alright, where is it? That's right there. Oh, thank goodness I got that. Okay, good. And I ended on water as well. I had no choice anyway, because the UFO is hovering above the water. I like the backgrounds in these special stages as well, they, uh, they do remind me of uh, some of the zones in this game, actually. Very good. 
So I have a feeling if I, the way that this is going, this could be a very quick glitch replay before I move on to the next game uh, in the Sonic series, Sonic Fridays that I normally do, which will be uh, Sonic Adventure 1. Which I'm looking forward to doing that one. And we've got this area where there's many of these things to smash and destroy. Now, this, they can be a bit annoying them, and if I remember correctly, the boss of this zone, there's m many of these things, many of those objects to smash in the boss, which can be quite annoying. There's an enemy lurking there, waiting for me. Surprisingly though, he's not carrying any weapons. Why is that? I have no idea why, nor am I interested in finding out. Oh, there's more enemies there, let's uh, get them. I don't know what on earth they're sprinkling out there, it's like sparkling dust or something, like gold dust? Or s stardust, from what it looks like they're sparkling out, I don't know why they're doing that. It's uh, pretty strange if you ask me. Alright, so let's get this past the sign and uh, let me just uh, use a spring to my advantage. And we can go straight into the past. I think the machine is very close here as well, actually, if I remember correctly. I uh, thought- oh god! Really? Well, that sucked. Anyway, I'll have to go and find the machine now. I actually thought it was close by here somewhere, but I guess not. Ah! Okay. I don't want to die here, obviously. That would that would really be bad if I died. Actually, I think I know where it is. It's up here, isn't it? No. Wait a minute, where is it? Oh, it's, oh, it's over here, right? Okay. Okay, sometimes my memory isn't quite all this that's cracked up to be when it comes to this game, to be honest with you. But at least I got the, the robot generator. Now I just need to... Uh, get 50 rings for the special station. Ah, now I can't collect... This is what I was talking about. Because I'm in a different time zone, I cannot collect these rings. So I have to be in the present to get the rest of those rings. But I can collect these ones, however. No, oh, I don't want to get stuck up there. Oh, there we go. I'm going to take a risk here. I'm going to spin dash across these. Ah, that was a very good risk and it was worth taking. And then we'll destroy that projector with the... and get the animals freed. up here and as you can see here this is like a pinball fortress as well unlike uh, Sonic's pinball this has got better uh, physics in my opinion anyway oh there's another uh, piece of machinery that's not working because we're not in the right timeline but that's totally fine though because because we're in the past we're actually able to get all the all the rings that we can and make sure that we're able to stay on stable platforms I need to get more, just a few more rings, and then we'll head towards the end. Uh, okay, one more ring will do it. Just one more, that's it. Now I just need to get to the ending. I need to be careful because there are spikes here. Alright, nice, we made it. Another good future is in the bag. And hopefully another time stone will be in the bag as well along with that. I think we've gotten another extra life out of that. Oh, this one looks very, very well done in the special stage. Oh crap, okay, maybe I should use the slow down function. To make Sonic go a bit slower and get these UFO. Oh, damn it, okay. Well, okay, now you can use those to slow Sonic down, but I don't think they're as necessary, I think. Ah. Okay, the, the UFOs can be a little bit trickier to dodge as each stage goes on, that they will uh, evade you. So you need to know their flight path before you can get them. Ah! Okay, I'm bouncing an awful lot between these walls here. Oh no! Come on! 
Okay, thank goodness. Alright, two more of these to get. I wanna, wanna get this one next. This is bugging me. Yes, there we go. Alright, where's that last one? There it is. Gotcha! Okay, that one wasn't as bad, and those gnashing teeth will uh, take away your rings. I don't think, even if you have no rings at that point, I don't think you failed the special stage automatically, which is a good saving grace. But I honestly feel that they should have added that to make that special stage a lot more difficult. Alright then, so now it's time for the good future of Collision Chaos. It looks uh, very, very pretty in my opinion. Oh, and uh, there's Robonic, laughing away as always. He seems a bit too happy in my opinion, despite the fact I ruined his bad future, or his good future in his, his view. But, what can you do though? Robonic can be very strange sometimes. So it's time for the boss battle. So essentially this is just like a Sonic Spinball here. You've got to like uh, make your way up to the top here, while avoiding the spikes below. It's not hard, this boss, it's just annoying. Like trying to make your way to the top, while avoiding all the obstacles. That's mainly what's annoying about this, as well as those things where Abonic fires out at you. They don't hurt you, but they're annoying nonetheless. I think he tries to home in on you as well, actually, when he fires them at you. I'm not quite able to make it. Oh, there we go. I managed to get up there. Oh, I fell right through that, actually, it looked like. There we go. Oh, almost got... I almost made it up there. Alright, I think we got it. Oh! God damn it, okay, I was so close to reaching the top there, but I had to blow it, didn't I? At least we'll get the, the boss theme here, which is uh, pretty incredible in this game. The American version is pretty sadistic. Whoa, okay, I actually had a saving grace seven part of those spikes beneath. It's a pretty nice theme, that one, actually. Not my favourite boss theme in Sonic, but it's still a pretty good one in my opinion. It's getting a bit annoying now, not reaching the top here. You know what, actually, that shield would be nice. If, in case if I do have the spikes beneath. Ah, oh, god damn it. I'm trying to reach the top there, but it's incredibly difficult here. Oh, wow, okay, the bottom got me there with that one. I finally got him. So that's Collision Chaos finished. Despite my struggles on that one, I managed to beat Robotnik there, without uh, falling into the spikes. So, now that we're done with that, uh, the next uh, zone is going to be Tidal Tempest, but we're going to save that for next time. So, uh, I will um, be ending that off right here, so uh, thank you very much for watching part 1 of my Let's Replay on the CD. Feel free to like if you enjoyed, comment down below as well for your thoughts, and feel free to hit the subscribe button as well for more upcoming content in the future as well. Thanks for watching everyone, and I shall see you all again next time, and take care and stay safe. Till then, bye bye.